Hi, thanks for joining us at Pineapple Racing. This week we're going to cover an inexpensive way how to modify the rear oil pressure regulator to increase the oil pressure of your motor. That hopefully will be part of a thought out process of modifying the entire oiling system so that it all works together very well. Let's take a look at the two styles of regulators that you'll typically see. This is an early pressure regulator with an adjustable top. You can remove the top from this, shim it, tighten it back down. The later motors used a non-adjustable style pressure regulator. And this is a regulator that most people are going to find in their cars. And we're going to show you a very inexpensive and effective way how to modify this regulator to keep you from having to spend the money on the expensive regulator. The modified regulator will end up looking very similar, only we've crushed down the top to increase the spring pressure to increase your oil pressure. The oil pressure regulator is a simple device. There's a piston and a spring trapped into a here, and the spring is trapped by this crushed area here. When we go to modify the regulator, we're going to want to be careful so that we do not damage the threads by supporting the regulator on this surface. We want to support it on the edge here. And we have a special tool that we've made for doing this. Here's our finished regulator. Now I'll bet you're wondering how we'd know how much pressure this regulator makes. Well, the way that we accomplish the testing is with a special tool that we've made. And we simply thread the regulator into the special tool. And by using air pressure, determine how much pressure to hold. In this case, we made 88 pounds. That was a substantial increase from the original 68 pounds that we had measured earlier. Hopefully that was helpful. Now remember, that was only one small modification of an entire package. And if it's not all done properly, it may not give you the results you want. One other further tip I'll give you is to remember, when you modify the, the regulator, to also shim up the front pressure regulator. This can be done by removing the nut and adding approximately an eighth inch of shim. And this is necessary to keep the front pressure regulator from venting too early and keeping you from building the oil pressure to its maximum. Please join us for the next installment. And remember, you can find these video clips and more at rotaryengineillustrated.com. And you can find specialty tools and more at pineappleracing.com.